let me tell you, WWE Universe fans of the world, what this blind beard thought of the Memorial Day episode of Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw was, how should we say, strange. Because, you know, the main event was in the beginning. I mean, come on. Like, it's weird because there's too much talking today in wrestling. Get into the action. Should be two hours episodes into the action. Maybe two and a half hours once in a while. To three hours every once in a while. Like a Super Smackdown kind of episode like they used to have every once in a while. Come on. Let's do it. Let's go back to those days. I like those days. Those days were pretty damn good to me. So, um, first hour, two matches. That's all we saw. First hour. We used to say three matches in the first hour back then. Maybe even four sometimes. 15 minute matches. I mean, then you have to add in the commercial breaks. Maybe 10 minutes sometimes for a match. Perfect amount of time. You don't need to waste so much time and nowadays in some of these matches sometimes. Tonight, we got to see a great opening match with Kane and Seth Rollins taking on Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. I thought the best members that were in this match were the three former members of The Shield. These guys are awesome. They will always be awesome in my book. I mean, when they were in The Shield, they were hated. When Seth Rollins left The Shield, he is still hated. When... Um, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose are not in the shield now. Everyone loves them. Don't you love Dean Ambrose and and Roman Reigns? They are awesome, right? So, and now Rusev and Lana breaking apart. That is strange to me. I liked it when they were together because she kind of gave him credibility. Now it's going to be for him to build up his own credibility. And, my gosh, did you see her with those... Uh, those long, beautiful legs that she was wearing today. Really nice. That's all I gotta say. Really nice. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, Tamina was versing Paige today. That was interesting. Um, Paige, I believe Paige won. But, uh, Tamina and Cameron. Uh, to butt afterwards, um, which is most likely what usually happens in these Divas matches now. I think they should push Divas a little bit more. Maybe create an alternate show nowadays called the Divas, like uh, like Divas Spectacular or Sparkles and Shine. I don't know what the hell you would call it. So I know what, I know like Emma or Natalia, one of one of the girls loves sparkles, so no, maybe that's summer I was thinking of. Yeah, like on one of those total diva shows during the car commercials of the Daniel Bryan episode, um of First Look on the WWE Network. It was a great show. If you don't have the WWE Network, go out and get it. It is an awesome thing. I mean, I do not work for WWE, I'm not affiliated with WWE, but I really like the product. That they put out. That's probably why there's so many um, subscribers to it. There's like 1.3 million subscribers, they say. So yeah, get it. It's good. It's going good. Now we have a um, a uh, championship match this Sunday at um, <laughs> Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. So let's go. Woo! Dean Ambrose, baby. Let's do it. And I just have to tell you guys something. I just graduated college. So congratulations are in order, right? Don't you guys think that you should congratulate me on all my um, college stuff? I think so sometimes. You know, college was fun. I wish I could go back and just hang out in college all the time. I mean, that would be fun. But I ain't going to go nowhere if I do that. Now is the time... Where I have to look for a job, which is going to be the uh, triumphant uh, uh, hard time, I guess. So, yeah, I am a college graduate now. Woo yeah, so college was good. Let's go, everyone. Have a good time. See ya.